Hey guys, this is Subhashish Mishra, your test coach. Today we will learn about getters and setters in Java. Also we will learn about this keyword. In our last video, we have learned about classes and objects. We have also created a car class and created an object for that. So this is your car class and here we have created an object for that. We have also created these private variables. Uh, these are like class variables or member variables. Today, we'll see why we made them private and how we will use it. What is getters and setters in class concept and how they are utilized and why we define them in first place itself. So, let me create a new class. So, uh, earlier if you'll see, right, we are creating the object here and we are using it. So, for now, I'll just remove it and I will create a new class. Let me create a new class and let me give as demo. What we'll do here, we'll try to create object of the car class here. So car, for example, Honda equal to new car. This is the way you can create object of any class. Okay, then what we'll try to do, we'll try to access all this whatever present here we'll try to access them so let's do that honda dot when you are doing see you will not able to see you can see chain speed and you can see display car details but you are not able to see these private variables because these are private the reason is all these fields are private let me make one thing as public. Now you see Honda dot C. We can see the model. So we can use now. But if it is private, we will not able to use that. So to access here, we need to make it public. But as per our implementation, we want it as a private. So let me keep it as private. So the concept behind keeping this class variables as private is called as encapsulation or data hiding in Java. Data hiding in Java is hiding the variables of a class from other classes. It can only be accessed to the method of their current class. It hides the implementation details from the users. But more than data hiding, it is meant for better management or grouping of related data. We'll learn about encapsulation in our uh, future videos. Now let's see what is getters and setters. Getter and setter in Java are two conventional methods used to retrieve and update values of a variable. They are mainly used to create, modify, delete and view the variable values. The setter method is used for updating values and the getter method is used for reading or retrieving the values. They are also known as accessor or mutator. Let's create a getter and setter method and we'll see how we can use them. So let's create one getter and setter method. So public void first I'll do for model set model then we'll pass so here the type is string so we'll pass string then model here what we will tell this dot model equal to model why we are using this here okay so why we are using this keyword here this keyword can be used to refer current class instance variable here let me remove this part now what you are seeing here model equal to model it means it is using this model but what we want we want to use this model which is class variable right so for example let me give name as here mode and here what I will do here I will put mode now you see it is working fine right this model color also got changed model is this model and more is this mode but we want to keep the name same because of better understanding. 
so what we'll do we'll keep the name same model but we'll use this keyword this dot model equal to model so what it will do it will refer to the class variable so that's why this keyword is used this keyword can be used to refer current class instance variable so it is referring to this one now we'll create getter method public string the return type is string get model and what will return model so we have written both of our get method and setter method so in future if you want to generate for all right you don't have to write really in this way you can generate it automatically through your eclipse you can just do the right click and what you can do you can go to the source and you can click on generate getter and setters click on that once you click you can see what are the variables you want to generate for brand we are seeing here right for model already we have written so we are seeing for brand color and year so just click on that and click generate so automatically it generated for all others if you will see here it generated for all others we have written for get model and set model it already we got for get color set color get brand set brand get year set year for all others now let's use them so where you will use it will use in our demo so here what we will do we will try to set one value and we want to see that value so already we have created a object honda and let's use that object honda dot set model so for example this we'll name it as honda city let me keep it capital okay then we'll try to get it then we'll just do a sysout here directly let's print it honda dot get model okay let me execute it see now you can see the result similarly if you want to create another object for example i will create another object maruti okay then similarly we can set maruti dot set model for example it is bolino right and here also we'll try to print it run as java application see now here also you can see the different thing let's see one more use of getter and setter method for example we want to do some validation while setting year of the car in that time we can easily use this uh, setter method and validate let's uh, do that so let's go to our car class and what we'll try to do here we have this year right we have this two methods get year and set year so what we'll try to do we'll try to put some condition here right so let's do that so what we'll do here is we'll put one condition if year is greater than 1950 okay then we are telling use this this dot here else this out this year is not valid and let's use same here 
what we'll try to do here on the dot set year for example we'll give 20 right and then we'll print it get year similarly here also we'll do the same thing we'll keep it maruti but here we'll do for example 1949 and then we'll print it and here we'll say it is just get here let's run now So here you can see the result Honda City and 2020 because the condition is meeting here but here the result is Bolino and this year is not valid because the, it is not meeting the condition. We have the condition if year is greater than 1950 then this dot year equal to year else this year is not valid which we are seeing here. So this is also one more uh, usage of getter and setter method you can set any condition. Thank you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I will try to explain it. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.